UK helps Ukraine carry out attacks against the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The Kyiv's regime's attacks against the Russian Black Sea Fleet were directed by UK Special Services. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova told RTVI. It has been detected that the British, along with the US, acted as spotters, supplying the Kiev regime with coordinates of targets. As for the terrorist attacks against the Black Sea Fleet, they were literally conducted under the direction of British special services, she said. Zakharova made the remarks commenting on reports that UK's Chief of the Defence Staff, Admiral Tony Radikin, played a significant role in developing Ukraine's military strategy in the Black Sea. The diplomat also said the Russian Foreign Ministry has repeatedly pointed to evidence of traces of British special services in anti-Russian activity and in the fighting in Ukraine as well as in the implementation of terrorist attacks. In general, the question that should be asked is not about Britain's involvement in separate episodes of the conflict in Ukraine, but about the unleashing and participation of London in the anti-Russian hybrid war, Zakharova said. Earlier, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the UK is helping Ukraine and is effectively directly involved in the conflict. Overall, it is no secret to anyone that the British are indeed providing various types of support to Ukraine, both with people on the ground and intelligence and so on and so forth. That is, they are practically directly involved in this conflict. The Kremlin official said, commenting on an article in The Times, that the UK Defence Secretary allegedly was clandestinely helping Ukraine develop combat plans. Kim Jong-un, we will invade South Korea. Pyongyang considers South Korea as its permanent main enemy and is ready to invade it for its security. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said this, South Korean puppets are the constant main enemy of our country. In the event of an emergency, a decision will be made regarding the occupation of their territories, he said. Kim made the remarks during an address at the Ministry of National Defense to mark the 76th anniversary of the founding of the country's military, Korean Central News Agency reported. If our enemies dare to use force against our country, we will make a bold decision that will change history and will not hesitate to mobilize all the superpowers at our disposal to put an end to them, Kim said, referring to South Korea. The belligerent tone comes as relations between the two Koreas are at their lowest in years. North Korea publicly rejected its long-held goal of unification with the South last month, with Kim calling for a constitutional change to define South Korea as its primary enemy state and invariable principal enemy, making it a national policy to occupy and pacify their territory in case of emergency is a reasonable action for our eternal security and future peace and stability, Kim said. He added that the only reason he was able to make this policy shift was because the military had sufficiently built up the weapons and technology necessary to defend the country. Finland allows Ukraine to attack targets in Russia with Finnish weapons. Ukraine can use the weapons transferred by Finland to attack targets on the territory of the Russian Federation. The Finnish side has not imposed any restrictions on the arms assistance provided to Kyiv. The corresponding statement was made by the head of the Finnish Defence Ministry, Antti Hakanen Yeli, informs. According to the minister, the restrictions on the use of their weapons were mainly imposed by those countries that supplied Kiev with long-range weapons. The Finnish Parliament's Defence Committee said that the Ukrainian army had the right to attack military facilities on Russian territory with the help of weapons supplied by Helsinki. In particular, this was said by the head of the committee, Juka Kopra, deputy head of the committee, Miko Savola, also noted that the weapons supplied by Finland can be used by the Ukrainian army for strikes against targets in the Russian Federation. At the same time, he adds that the range of the weapons supplied by Finland is not very long. In general, the Finnish authorities are in constant contact with their allies on the issue of restrictions on weapons transferred to Ukraine. Finnish President Soli Ninisto, who is leaving office, has promised that his country will continue to increase military aid to Kyiv. Ninisto said Finland has provided Ukraine with 22 aid packages and will not limit itself to this. We are increasing aid, primarily, of course, military aid. This especially concerns ammunition and air defense assets. 
Everyone agreed that we need to act as we did at the beginning of 2022 when decisions were made in a timely manner and very quickly, Ninisto stated. <laughs>